Hold on. <laughs> Big interception night, how'd it feel? <laughs> Um, uh, I was just trying to make a play. Um, our, our coaches always tell you when you get close to a play, you got to make it. And uh, it came to me, and uh, I looked very awkward doing it, but I uh, somehow <laughs> made it happen. <laughs> get a dozen tackles, also. How did you feel like you played? Uh, if anybody knows anything about football, you can get a dozen tackles and still have a bad game. So uh, I feel like there's things that I need to work on as well as things that I did well tonight. Uh, really, most of those tackles came on pursuit itself. And uh, that's a good thing getting to the ball-wise, but uh, we still need to get back and uh, get back to the fundamentals and get back to the more tactical things of playing our positions. Were you guys feeling any pressure in the fourth quarter? I mean, they, they kept hanging around and hanging around that you had to make some stops. Uh, no, because um, the thing that played into our hands most uh, most often is uh, we had great punt punters, and uh, we had great punts, and the field position game was uh, being played toward us. So it's, it's very hard to drive the ball 80, 85 yards against a good defense and, uh, and score. More often than not, that won't happen. So uh, we went out there uh, with the intentions of stopping them, and uh, we, we were fortunate enough to get those stops tonight. Yeah, sure. What did the coaches say to you guys You know, after the performance in the locker room? Uh, each win is a good win, and uh, I remember I was watching ESPN, and uh, Bobby Knight said it's better to learn from a win than to learn from a, from a loss. So uh, we're going to take this in stride. We're going to watch the film, uh, dissect it. We're going to analyze it. We're going to get back to the drum board and find out what we can do better. We're going to try to attack those areas. You know, just, just off of tonight, what did you take away positive defensively? Maybe some things you think uh, need to be corrected. Uh, definite positives are uh, young guys making plays. And you can talk about guys like B.J. DeBose and a uh, guy like Andrew. Uh, and those guys are really stepping up for us and becoming players. And uh, you can look at our young talent and know that our D-line is going to be great for years to come and our secondary is going to be pretty good for years to come. And uh, just having that that security and the note those guys aren't shy, those guys aren't, aren't afraid of the big light either. And uh, it makes it a lot easier to play behind guys that, that know their job and uh, can get their job done. You, you touched like a little bit. might be what carries this team this year, like you guys might be, there might be a lot of games like this. It's, 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 it's really hard to gauge, but uh, you know, it's just the first game of the season, and I know we played Murray State, but I mean it's really no different than when we played EKU last year. Uh, we had a, a shaky performance, and everybody was kind of asking questions, similar questions, but I mean, when you really think about it, a lot of guys, uh, we have a lot of moving parts right now. We have a lot of moving parts on the offensive line. We have a lot of moving parts in uh, our wide receiver group. We talk about Mike Lee Harris coming back. We talk about Josh Bellamy moving from outside to slot. you got a lot of guys rotating at the running back position. So there's just a lot of things that we need to figure out, and uh, the, the best way to cure that is experience. And uh, playing games will take care of themselves. Dex, you, you played as a true freshman. You touched on uh, B.J. DeBose. Talk a little bit more about his play tonight and also Andrew Johnson. He's at the boat, definitely, uh, he flew to the ball, and that's something that you like to see as a young guy with a lot of talent actually flying to the ball, much like B.J. DeBose was doing tonight. Uh, I like his uh, arrogance, and I don't mean arrogance in a bad way, but uh, he comes out there with that certain cockiness that you have to lack of competing on the football field, that they can't block me attitude, uh, so to speak. So you can really appreciate that. You can really appreciate how hard he plays. What about A.J.? Uh, A.J.? John. Oh, Andrew, I'm sorry. Uh, Andrew played really well tonight. Uh, when you look at Andrew, he's really good technically. You know, his, his pedal's good, his break is really good, and uh, he has really he has exceptional instincts. And uh, Andrew Johnson is going to be a really good player for us this year. One guy that we're looking for in the back end to make a lot of plays. They've gone against this offense all spring and fall. Be surprised they didn't put up more points tonight or do a little bit better than they. Uh, it's hard to say. Uh, definitely surprised that uh, they didn't put up more points tonight, but uh, I'm not really upset that they didn't put up more points tonight because there were some things that obviously we needed to attack, you know, from a technical standpoint, from a schematic standpoint, and that we didn't get taken care of, not only on offense, but on defense as well. You know, it's a team effort. I don't want to make it seem like the offense let us down because there's no reason that we gave up too many points tonight also. And we gave up a fourth quarter touchdown, which is something that we really strive to not let happen also. So uh, we all need to get back, and uh, just we need to grow as a team. Uh, we need to grow closer together, closer with the coaches, and uh, we just need to get back to the fundamentals and get back to doing what we do best. You, you guys in the locker room notice that there's a lot of guys contributing from the city? Uh, what do you mean? Like Devontae Parker or yep. Victor Anderson? No, Rack not necessarily. It doesn't really matter. Everybody's on the same team. Everybody's on the same team. It doesn't really matter where you come from. A lot of guys tonight, though. Yeah. 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 I I wasn't thinking about that. I was just thinking about somebody making plays. Sure. You know, and uh, when we always talk about uh, Coach Carter, more specifically, always talks about the brand, the brand of Louisville, meaning that the name on the front of the jersey needs more than the name on the back. And, uh... Just knowing that our brand is Louisville, that's who we go out there and that's who we play as. It, it isn't about where you're from or where you play high school ball. It's more about the team itself.
Dex, what does the brand of Louisville need to mean at the end of this season? How do you guys want to redefine it at the end of this year? Uh, we want to redefine the brand of Louisville to mean uh, a hard-working blue-collar team that's going to hit you in the mouth, uh, that's going to play physical, that's going to play fast, and uh, that's never going to quit. That's what that's what we strive for. And uh, just to do that, uh, and added added to that would be to play with good technique. And uh, just just about anybody can tell you if you play fast, physical, and with good technique, good things will happen for your football. <coughs> what percentage of that do you think you accomplished tonight? Uh, I think we played physical. I believe we played uh, semi-fast. Uh, there's definitely some things we need to work on. I don't want to make it seem like this is at all a good victory for us. Uh, but I don't want to make it seem like it's at all a bad victory. So, you know, we'll take a win, we'll take it in stride. But there's always coaching points, there's always teaching points, there's always learning points that we need to go back and forth through the film and actually judge and dissect and analyze. And we're going to get that taken care of with our coaches.